In this video we're going to go through the process of taking a existing sales order and moving it into the quote so that we could modify it and if we make a mistake we can exit it without our changes being saved and then we can convert it back into a sales order. At no time does the sales order number moving back and forth between quote and sales order change. So any purchase orders that you have linked to this sales order will continue to retain that link. So let's do this process together. We have this sales order and what we're going to do is we are going to convert the sales order into a quote and then select. So now it's a quote before we do anything, we have to save this quote under the new, it still has the same quote and sales order number, both the same, but we have to save this document first. So we'll click save and just close. All right, so now if we go into our quotes, we see the items here and we're gonna make some changes. Um, we're gonna say edit and then I'm going to take this freight and I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to take this one here and change from 2 to 25 and you'll see I've made changes maybe even this one I'm going to delete so now I've made my changes and realized that I shouldn't have deleted those items my mistake I want to put everything back to the way it was so I hit the save button and it'll ask me do you want to save your changes I say no by saying no it puts everything back the way it originally was now I can convert it back into a sales order again and again the linking is still there with my purchase orders I hope this video was uh, helpful and now you understand the process of moving things into the quote system so you can modify it, add things, etc., and exit back out without saving your changes. Thank you.